Roughly 200 of you left me a DM today asking me my opinion on the Casio Duro 38 mil uh, and whether or not they should choose one over the original Casio Duro. Now, I think you guys are buzzing about this watch because I believe Teddy just released an episode on the Casio Duro 38 mil like today, so it makes sense that people are talking about it and I'm honored you guys would want my input. I'm going to leave a link to his episode in the description below, but I'm going to tell you my thoughts and opinions on this new Casio Duro 38. Let's go ahead and tell the time. It is 4.03 p.m. Let's get down to business. So for those of you who've been living under a rock, the Casio Duro is a hyper affordable entry level diver with a quartz movement. It's about 48.5 millimeters in lug to lug with a 44 millimeter diameter. Now it doesn't have sapphire, it does have a 200 meter water resistance rating and a threaded crown, but all in all, it's nothing supremely fancy. Now way back when, when I first started on this channel, I did review a Casio Duro and I wasn't super favorable towards it. I mean, mine didn't hit uh, the indexes with the second hand, which is a common occurrence with these very affordable quartz movements. But apparently, uh, you know, me pointing that out is blasphemous. And uh, the one I reviewed had a very, very gritty crown when you threaded it and unthreaded it. Now I will concede, when you are purchasing and owning uh, watches of that price range, because again, you can find the Casio Duro nowadays for like $40 brand new on Amazon, you should have reasonable expectations. This is an entry level dive watch. But all things considered, price, specs, what have you, 44 millimeters with just over a 48 millimeter lug to lug is too big for a lot of people who would be looking for a watch like that. So it seems like Casio answered everyone's prayers when they offered the Duro in 38 millimeters. Now it's just over 38, apparently it's 38.5. Now as exciting as this may seem, when you look a little further, you realize you're paying twice the price for half the watch. Literally. You see, this Casio Duro 38 brand new on Amazon is like $99.99, so like 100 bucks. And as we stated, you're getting a brand new Duro uh, 44 mil for like 40 something dollars. Now, it's actually incorrect in saying it's twice the price for half the watch because it's actually less than half the watch. The OG Duro had a 200 meter water resistance rating, whereas this 38 mil only has a 50 meter water resistance rating. And I already hear all the people being like, uh, how many people that own dive watches even actually dive? Stop complaining about that. Now I'm not saying that people that are buying a Duro are actually expected to go ahead and utilize all those 200 meters of water resistance. If you're interested in learning more about your watch's water resistance rating, I did a full episode talking about what water resistance actually means in regards to wristwatches. Anyway, when you're looking at the $40 range for the OG Casio Duro, it's very hard to recommend other watches when someone says, yeah, but $40 is $40. That's still a lot of watch for $40. 200 meter water resistance rating, threaded crown, I don't have to baby it. It's just the ultimate entry level tool watch. But now this new Casio Duro 38 mil being essentially within the $100 range, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend you look elsewhere. For instance, if you're looking for an alternative to the Casio Duro because 44 millimeters is too big and you are specifically looking for something much more wearable, why settle for something that's 38.5 millimeters when you could get something that measures closer to 36.5 millimeters with the new EcoDrive ProMaster 37 mil, but again, it measures 36.5. And I know what you're saying. Well, that Citizen is way more money than that Casio Duro 38. Eh, you can find them in the $200 range. So if you're going to be spending double uh, the price that you would spend for an original Casio Duro and a Casio Duro 38, I'd tell you to wait a little bit and spend double that on an actual dive watch. The Citizen ProMaster actually has an ISO rated case. That's a legit diver. 
And listen, I'm not going to make any assumptions about people's spending abilities or spending habits because we all are different. But those citizens are still very much in the entry level when we're looking at dive watches and especially when we're looking about wearable undersized dive watches. So guys, the excitement is not lost on me, right? When we hear that Casio has seemingly listened to the consumer base and made a watch that already has essentially its own cult following uh, by now, even more wearable for a larger variety of people, that's like really good news. But again, it's, it's uh, I think, a downgrade, a massive downgrade. And... A let down. But guys, leave me your comments. Uh, I, yeah, I know you, you never thought I'd do it. See me defending the original Duro, but I honestly uh, would choose the original Duro a million times over this stupid 38. But what do I know? I'm just the time teller. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.